Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Yes, hello, hello, and welcome to the show. We have an exciting guest here today, and I'm one of your hosts, Kristen White. And this is Dave Van Hoos, and we're so excited and honored to have you on our show. And the Be Legendary show is all about real-life practical, practical experience, tools, and principles to help you and your business and to be legendary. And I'm excited, and we've got a really special guest today, Kristen, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun because this is a guy that has basically been a speaker probably since the time he was five years old. Uh, he's been traveling the world and philanthropy work um, and just really has a great insight to really help speakers, authors, business owners, uh, so he's going to bring tremendous value. You know, I think that there is something to be said that when you, this is what's so exciting about this guest, when you are in a space where you are inspired and you're with one of the master teachers, that your greatness is born out of that space as well. So we are in for such an incredible treat with our guest. And this is part of our series here on Be Legendary, bringing you the ultimate in legendary speakers, coaches, entrepreneurs, and professionals on the planet. So what an incredible honor it is to have uh, Jarek Robbins with us. He's the world's foremost authority at developing creative solutions for accelerated results with his rapid results formula. And I'm just really excited, Kristen, because, you know, the learning curve and the education experience that Jarek is bringing uh, to the table here to help us really unravel uh, there's a lot of speakers and internet marketers that would love to create a coaching program in their in their back end. There's a lot of business owners that you know might you know want to learn more about coaching, and so uh, it's going to be a great, great, great uh, conversation with Jarek. And uh, who knows where this call is going to go? So we're going to have lots of fun because uh, Jarek has got lots of experience, and you know I, I've known Jarek for for some time, and and just just a person that is brilliant, smart, in integrity. Um, and if you haven't met Jarek, uh, you're going to have an opportunity on this show. And so it's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. And, you know, Dave, before we get started, I'd love to take this chance to let all of our listeners know about uh, your event that's coming up in Irvine, California. It's, it's just about a month from now, actually, a little bit less. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what people can expect when they come in person to learn from some of these amazing mentors and teachers and experts that you've brought together. Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to be out in California. We haven't been out there in Irvine in about a year. And the special event is the Be Legendary event. And we've got some of the top, top speakers in the world and internet marketers coming to this event. So if you've been to our event or heard about our events, you know we bring the who's who's out. We've got people like Russ Whitney that's going to be coming to the event. And, Kristen, he did a quarter of a billion dollars a year in the speaking business. Wow. Uh, he owned <laughs> Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Robert Kiyosaki. So he's a personal friend of mine. He's going to be there, uh, and he's, he's coming to serve and to help. Uh, Jarek Robbins, who's going to be on here today, is also going to be at the event. Mike Koenigs, uh, big product launch internet marketer, talked to him. He's going to be coming to the event. Uh, and sharing with us his product launch secrets, which he's never revealed before because he's going to be in the middle of his product launch. And I asked him to, to come by and to, to share with us. We've got about 38 JV brokers and managers that are going to be at this event. Penguin Publishing House, one of the biggest publishing houses in the world, uh, is coming, and they're looking to publish speakers. So if you want to become an author, uh, we've got one of the biggest publishing houses to come to look and to give you a book deal where you'd get paid to write your book. In addition to that, uh, reality TV shows, um, people are coming because a lot of these speakers are doing radio, or TV shows, <laughs> and they're coming to look for some new hot talent. So it's going to be really uh, uh, a life-changing event for those that take the time to get out of their business and work on their business, not in their business. So I'm excited. You know, the thing that I think is so great about le leaving your home and traveling and coming to spend time in three days in an environment that is so rich with opportunities. You know, I know you said this before, Dave, and we've talked about it, that we're really only one introduction or one connection away from making a quantum leap in our business. So who knows who you might meet or who you might connect with in this very exclusive environment. I know it's limited to a small amount, and from what I understand, you're, you're almost sold out. Yeah, we've got uh, almost our room block is, is almost filled up, so if you are attending the event and you haven't booked your room, you better do that today 
because the room block's being booked out. And last year when we did it, the room block was booked out, and people had to go back and forth. And uh, you know, a lot of the you know a lot of the business they say is done on the golf course. Well, a lot of business in this industry is done at the JV and at these events. So you want to be at the hotel. And absolutely, like you said, we've only got a limited seats left just because of who is coming to this event. And I've asked personal favors from some of our top clients, from my personal friends to come here uh, to bring it to what really is working um, in the business right now. So I am I just can't wait for this event. It's going to be lots of fun. Yeah, and thank you so much for putting it together. I know I'm really excited to be part of it as well. So let's not keep everyone waiting anymore. We have just such... An incredible guest today, Jarek Robbins, you know, at 23 years old, he was awarded the Congressional Award for Gold Medal by the United States Congress and by 25. I mean, this is somebody who's been on the go since he was, like you said, just a young person. He became an international phenomenon by developing a revolutionary approach to accelerating results for business in different industries. So now he's just doing great things with businesses and I'm I'm so excited to have this conversation with Jarek Robbins today. Jarek, welcome to our show. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Well, Jarek, we're excited, and we really want to get down to work with you. And, you know, this show is really about bringing great, great, great tools and principles and uh, what's working today. And I know you've got a lot of background, so we've got a lot of work to do today. And, you know, so, Jarek, we've got a lot of speakers, authors, business people mm -hmm. Um, that are possibly thinking about creating a coaching program. Uh, what would you say, if you were going to start a coaching program, what would you say were some of the things that people could do to create a coaching program? Um, the, the biggest insight I give you is there's so many different things out there, and I have people email me all the time, and literally at least I get a half dozen a week, if not more, of people saying, listen, I really want to be a coach, um, do you recommend any of these programs that are out there? You know, International Coaching Federation, Coach U, blah, 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 blah. And they have a whole list of them. And the truth is there's great coaching training programs that teach you the basics, what to do on the first call, how to welcome a client, how to email a client, blah, blah, blah. And what's fascinating, though, is I've watched dozens and dozens and dozens of coaches come out of these programs, become amazing coaches, and go nowhere. It's like going to college. Go to college, get a degree, and you're bagging groceries. <laughs> and it's like, what the world happened? And the biggest differentiator I see if you're trying to make a coaching program is really working backwards. It's something you know, Dave and I were talking about earlier, which is figuring out what are the needs of your clients, what do they really, really, really need, and what do they want, and how do you design the program that's going to get them what they need, want, and desire. And how do you work backwards? And instead of falling in love with So we, we, me and, me and Jerick were having a great conversation as he comes back on. Really what most people try to do, Kristen, is they have their product, and they try to force their product to their audience. And instead, why not listen to your audience? What do they want? And design your product and your coaching around what they want. It's a much better strategy. Uh, what do you think about that, Kristen? You know, I think you raised such a valid point, Dave, because I think a lot of us, you know, we're, we're – we're sitting at home, we feel like we've got this incredible idea, and we say, oh, I'm going to bring this to market. And I think that sometimes people don't realize, you know, that what they perceive as being a really hot niche is not. You know, and I have, I have a quiz for this, and we could just go over one or two of the little pieces. You know, one of the most important things, I think, in determining if your niche is hot is are there at least 10,000 people out there that could be your potential ideal customers? You know, I think a lot of us, well, on one hand, yeah, we want to get into tighter spaces, spaces and more specific niches, but we still got to make sure we at least have a client base to pull from, you know, because we need to have that diversity that will take advantage of our coaching packages, that will read our books, that will invest in our products and our services. Yeah, absolutely, Kristen. And that's one of the things that um, me and my partner Dustin do. We sit down, we write a lot of presentations for a lot of people, and they are so emotionally attached to their book or their product, and they're telling me and Dustin, they're selling us on the product, and they get so attached to it. But a better strategy, like you suggest, is take a look at your herd. You know, what does your herd want? And what I mean by that is instead of you taking a square peg and trying to put it into a round hole, which you can with good marketing and good good persuasion techniques, it's better to figure out what does your audience want and then build that around it. And uh, 
Of course, now to take care of you, a quick story, uh, me and Robert Allen are getting ready to talk to a book publisher. And what we're going to do is is we're going to go up to New York, talk to them. We're going to get it in advance for $100,000 to write a book. And what we're going to do is not write the book and then try to go to the publishing house and say, force this book. We're going to go, what kind of book do you want us to write? Here's what we're thinking. They're going to tell us. They're going to pay us. And then we're going to write that book. So it's, I think it's a much better strategy to go that route. Absolutely. I agree 100%. And, and like I said before, Jarek is now back with us. So Jarek, thank you for coming back. <laughs> Of course. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. So, so Jarek, so tell us a little bit about uh, how can somebody design a good coaching program? So let me give you an example. Let's just say uh, I'm a speaker and I speak on real estate. Or let's just say I speak and I teach people about day trading or, or options. Or I'm an Internet marketer and I teach people about how to make money on the Internet. How can I create a coaching program uh, that gets people results? Um, they you want to work backwards, base it off the results they want, and break it down into very simple steps. Most people overcomplicate their steps because they're so used to being in their world that they don't realize what they see as simple and you know, everyday use. Oh, that's obvious. People who aren't in your world have no clue what you're talking about. So just to give you a specific example, if you're an Internet marketer, telling someone, hey, just create a website and then here's what you want to put on it, that whole step of just create a website is a big step for a lot of people. Or, you know, and a lot of them are getting better at this. I watch their programs where they're trying to break it down to the ridiculous. You want to break it down to the point that if you have a kid sister or a kid brother or, you know, a, a five or six, seven, ten-year-old at home and you're, it's your child, you want them to be able to go through your program and go, oh, I could do that and piece it all together. You know, Jarek, I think that's such an important point because – a lot of us are experts, and then we create a program, and we really geek out on our process. You know, we're like all geeked out over all the, the elements of our process, and we don't realize that our clients only hear and understand the benefits or the result. So if we don't put that benefit or result forward and kind of put the process very simplified behind that, that a lot of times what is so clear to us, like you said, our clients have no idea what we're talking about. The other piece that's really important is creating it in bite-sized chunks. I know I'm guilty of this myself, where you get so excited about a topic, so excited about something, that you're like, oh my gosh, let me, let me tell you everything I know about it. And you start going off on a tangent, and they're excited because they're getting so much quote-unquote value. At the same time, if they haven't completed step one, how in the world are they going to complete step 23? Yeah, absolutely. So it's really breaking it down and saying, listen, I know this sounds like the easiest step in the world, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop the program right now, and you're not going to get access to step two until you complete step one. So, Jarek, let me ask you this question. Let's just say you're a speaker on real estate, and let's just say you're not very good with coaching people, or, or let's just say you want to have a coaching program. Uh, how could you create a coaching program uh, that would be little to, to a use of your time? Because there's a lot of people out there that are busy that don't have time uh, to really coach. So how could we create a coaching program without the guru's time? Sure. Hire a coach. Hire a coach. <laughs> so you, um, just, it does, you just bring somebody on and, and have them run your coaching program? Kind of. That, I mean, that, that would be a big mistake, just to just randomly hire somebody. Um, but the, the, here's the piece that most people don't pay attention to, is they're in the boat, they're in the four-hour work week boat of what you're talking about. And I agree with it. I live it. I love it. Um, I want to be able to produce maximum amount of return on my investment. I want to be able to charge high dollar because if I speak for a high dollar amount, if I make a ton of money on stage, I don't want to spend every waking moment in between speaking on the phone constantly trying to coach people one-on-one. -on -one. And so the, the kind of detour way I've seen all these quote-unquote speakers and coaches put together programs is they put together group mentor programs where they talk to people once a week on one phone call and you know, that's supposed to suffice. Or they put together, um, you know, a coaching program and they get caught on the phone 24-7 just trying to help everybody solve problems. And so one thing you want to do is if you really, truly want to have a coaching program, and this is the difference. You can just, anyone can create a coaching program. Say, here's my program. Here's the five steps. I'll walk you through it. We'll meet every week, Wednesday on a call. And then you, you get an hour of my time and you're out. You've got to figure it out the rest. But if you really, really, really want to impact someone's life, and to give you guys a little bit of background, I grew up within a tribe, within a group of people, where our main goal was not making money. 
Our main goal was not becoming wealthy or famous or rich or a guru or anything. Our main goal from the foundation of what it is that I've grown up around was changing people's lives. We didn't care if we lost money. We didn't care if the business went right. We didn't care if it, if it took all of our time and all of our energy and all of our effort and everything we had. As long as we made a difference in that person's life, that's what we were on board for. And there's a big tribe of us, and, and it's everyone I grew up with. So we were a little backwards on the business side. Since then, we figured it out and made, done well. At the same time, though, with that mindset, we didn't care if we had to spend 24 hours on the phone as long as we made that difference in someone's life. So when you ask me, how do you make a quality coaching program, just so you know, that's the frame of mind I come from, which most people these days will go, you work too hard, that's not smart, that's not intelligent, what are you doing? Leverage your time, get other people to do it, you know, make it a video program, blah, 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 which I've slowly adapted to and found a way to do it. So if I were to give you three, four ways to make a coaching program that won't take a ton of your time, Number one, if you want to do it yourself and it's all about you, the first so many weeks, months, or years of doing it, you have to do it yourself. And the reason you're doing it yourself is you're going to pick the top handful of clients. You're going to coach them personally. Here's what you need to do. Record and transcribe every single call you go through with them. Figure out which calls make the biggest difference in those clients' lives and business, the biggest difference, the biggest impact. From there, transcribe and figure out what tool did you use, what steps did you walk them through, what did you say, what stories did you use, and start to create a manual that will be a guide you can give to other coaches and you can start to train other people on your team so that they can walk someone through that content. They can say, oh, my gosh, you have this problem? You have this problem in real estate? No problem. Let me tell you this story about so-and-so. You know, Dave taught us that this guy was doing this. Here's how Dave worked with them. Here's what Dave said to him, blah, blah, blah. So you're still the expert, you're still the guru, you're still the guy or, or lady, and at the same time, you have someone else able to reproduce that content because the content is what's getting the person the result, not you saying the content. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's, that's a beautiful strategy. Uh, I know a lot of people are thinking on this call, and just they're, they're wanting through their mind, like, oh, that sounds great, Jarek, you, know, uh, you know, but I'm not famous, I'm just starting – can you have to have a coaching program first before you can sell it, or could you uh, sell it and create it as you go? Um, both. It's risky uh, to sell it and create it as you go. The one thing that I would do is if you're really going to do that, put a 100% money back guarantee and live up to it. And if you're going to create an a on-the-go coaching program, tell them. Say, listen, here's what it is. I believe I can coach you through this. I'm going to put a guarantee on it. AKA, the guarantee is you can go through the entire coaching program with me. I'm going to put in my time, my effort, my energy, my research, everything. And by the end of this program, if you don't feel it's worth 10 times the price of what you just paid for it, I will give you all of your money back. And I but think that's a great a here's what I selling need. proposition, too, when you're, when you're offering up that opportunity. Uh, because you can, you can go off. It's so hot. I haven't even developed it yet. You'll be the first person. This is a beta test. And like you said, I think the key is is making sure that you have an integrity with a money back guarantee, so that way if the people go through it and you know they're dissatisfied, that you have that as a safety. And really, truly, you have to live up to your word, because these days the internet speaks louder than anything you could say to anyone else yourself. If you if you sell that program and someone goes through it and you don't deliver, and you don't give them their money back, it, it will be known. <laughs> yeah, and actually, yeah, and, and, and that's a, a sad thing that I see, Jarek and, and Kristen, is that these people are out there selling these fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar coaching programs. It's this big thing. You're going to sell these big packages, you know. Which is, you know, you can do that, and we sell those. But I'm here to share with you: if you sell a fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar coaching program and you don't deliver, uh, you're going to be in trouble. Your merchant account's going to shut you down. Uh, so I, I agree with uh, Jarek. You've got to make sure that you under-promise and over-deliver. Uh, so, Jerick, let me ask you this next question. What worked a year ago uh, that doesn't work today? Um, what's funny about that question is exactly what you just said. And what used to work back in the day was just wrapping up some program, saying, here's what it's worth, I'm going to pitch it to you, and you know, then disappearing, basically, and saying, oh, you know, I, it was easily worth the value, and giving no money back, um, you know, not really truly making your client the greatest love of your entire business, 
not servicing your client, not taking care of your clients, all that stuff doesn't work anymore. Basically, so, it, it's my favorite thing that I've learned through social media is our world wide web, our connection via the Internet, is making everything into a small town again. Where back in the day, if you lived in a small town and there were two butchers and you went to your butcher and all of a sudden that butcher rips you off and you know he did, you're going to tell everybody. And the moment you tell all your buddies and friends, no one's going to go to the butcher anymore and the butcher's out of business. And it's the same thing online these days is that old process of I could just whip something together, sell it to everybody, make a ton of money and get out. It doesn't work. They you know, find you, they track you down, and you're gone. You know, Dave and Jarek, it's such an important conversation that we're having here on ethics in coaching. And we've got to take a quick break here on the Be Legendary show. But when we come back with Jarek Robbins, uh, let's hear more about how you can make sure that you are you know, operating with the highest character and integrity in this coaching practice that you do create. So we'll be right back with the Be Legendary show in just a minute and our amazing guest, Jarek Robbins. like to discover how to create lasting, sustainable, and profitable success in your life? If the answer is yes, then listen up. Here's your opportunity to join hosts Dave Van Oots and Kristen White in person at the Be Legendary Experience in Irvine, California. At this one-time only exclusive event, you'll discover how to unlock millions in your message, become a legendary figure in your marketplace, create lasting change on the planet all with the help of the world's most influential transformational thought leaders, live and in person. Seating for this event is limited, so act now and do not miss your opportunity. Visit us online at speakingempire.com forward slash events. That is speakingempire.com forward slash events. Or call to register at 1-800-687-4061. That's one 800 Six eight seven forty sixty one. Be bold, be remarkable, be legendary, and sign up today. We're back on the Be Legendary Show, and I'm your co-host, Kristen White, here with Dave Van Hoos. And before we continue on with this conversation, I want to invite all of you listening from around the world to call us on our number, 646-929-2228. Again, that number is 646-929-2228, and you can be a caller here on the show. We'll take your questions live for Jarek Robbins, who is the founder of the Rapid Results Formula. We were just talking about how important it is today inside this tight little community that has happened as a result of social media to make sure that your character and your delivery is of the utmost um, you know, level. Because if not, once you get that reputation out there, it can be very, very hard to repair it. Yeah, it's something that if you go online, and anyone who ever I get a speaking request from, I, you know, I'm going to go coach, the very first thing I do is Google them. And the moment you do that, or Bingham, or Yahoo, or whatever, whatever search engine you use, uh, but the moment you do that, you get their whole history. You get everything about them. You get to know the good, the bad, the different. Whether it's true or not doesn't matter. But just like that dress to impress, the first impression you make on somebody, the very first things that pop up on that Google page that you read about them is going to leave an impression whether you like it or not. Absolutely. So, Jared, I understand that you have – an amazing story about creating an opportunity for yourself by just putting yourself in the path of, you know, success. So tell us about your trip to Vegas. Sure. Um, I, have a, I have a good friend who just connected me, and it, it's fun. Dave was talking about networking at events and all the, you know, in this business of products and information marketing, speaking and coaching and training, a lot of the networking is done at events, and it's true. When you go to an event like the, the one we have in Irvine, the Be Legendary one, it's amazing the people you meet and the quality of people you're around. They're people who are like-minded in the same field. And the beauty is, I don't know who taught this, but it's come up and it's become a popular thing to do, 
is people are showing up to these events with the mindset of, how can I help three, four, or five of these people go get something that they need? And I bet if I do that enough times, eventually they'll start connecting me to what I need. And they're really serving. So it was beautiful. I met a guy a while back, and we crossed paths, um, I think it was online even. Like someone, connect, someone at an event that I met said, oh, my God, I've got to introduce you to this guy. Connect me online to him. And he says, hey, let me, show you, let, let me check out what you're doing. He saw it, loved it, and he said, oh, here, I have, a, I have a company that flies me out to South Africa, gives me, you know, puts me on safari, flies me to business class, and pays me to come do these events a couple times a year. Let me connect you. You'd be perfect for it. He connected me to them. I just talked to them. And tentatively, next February, they're going to fly me out to do three events with 1,100 people each in Johannesburg, uh, Cape Town, and um, one of um, shoot, I forgot the other name. One of, one of the major cities down in South Africa. And I was laughing. So I flew out to Vegas to go say hi to him and, and just to say thank you. He was speaking at a, at a corporate convention there. So I flew out, joined him, and when I arrived, what was interesting And it looks like we may have lost Jarrett again, but I'm sure he will be right back in a second. And Dave, are you with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely I'm with you. So, so, you know, I think one of the big things is, is that, uh, you know, when you're creating your speaking business or info business, um, you know, there's so many different strategies. And one of the things that, you know, Jarrett, you know, talked about is going to events and how important it is when you go to these events, you run into people. Uh, it's amazing how you can meet somebody there that invites you to speak at one of their gigs. Uh, and then from there, it can just, it just can catapult your whole speaking career. Um, and, you know, every time that I go to an event or even to a mastermind, I always go the intention of how can I help people and serve. And then, of course, you know, getting JVs lined up and, uh, you know, promoting, you know, and going on to people's stages and, and how beneficial it is. Um, you know, it's amazing. I mean, Dave, you and I actually met at an event, and, you know, now we're hosting the show together. So I, there are a lot of opportunities that can happen by just going up and uh, introducing yourself. I know uh, there was a mutual person who knew both of us and said, you know, you guys should meet. And I think that if you act on that, especially in these live events like the atmosphere that you're creating at Be Legendary, that everyone is looking to support and serve one another. And that that's really important as a distinction between what you've created with your event and a lot of other events. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a big part of my success in, in my businesses is is finding the successful people and then teaming up with them, building value for them, and then doing a joint venture. Uh, it's been the easy strategy that I've learned to do to have success. And I'll give you an example. I was in a mastermind group. Uh, right sitting next to me was a guy named Russell Brunson, you know, famous Internet marketer. We went out to dinner that night with him, talked to him, um, and we decided we came up with the idea uh, to do a co-event and uh, to put an event on where I promoted it and he promoted it. And uh, he was going to promote more because it was more on Internet marketing and have a big database in that. And we put the event on together, worked together, had a great relationship, had a lot of fun. We did it in Tampa, Florida. Um, and we did $350,000 um, that, you know, we had about 20000 into the event. We split it 50-50. So that one connection, you know, made us a couple hundred thousand dollars at that one event alone, then we did another event, and then we've done a lot of promotions together. So, you know, you've got to, if you're a speaker, an author, it's imperative for your business to get out and to get these relationships. I can't preach it enough. I know, Christian, you can't talk about it enough. It's important. Yeah, you've got to get on a plane, you've got to get to, to an event or to a mastermind, but don't they always say that the business is done on the golf course? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a virtual golf course. Well, actually, you know, yeah. Dave Jarek is back, you, and he uh, wants, I'm sure wants to tell us a little bit more about this exciting opportunity that he has down in South Africa. And, you know, some of your other, I'm sure you have rapid results networking tips for everyone as well, Jarek. Absolutely. First networking tip, go buy a book, and it's called Never Eat Alone. It's by a good friend of mine who is probably one of the best, quote-unquote, and when I say networker, I do not mean network marketing. I mean networker, like I went to his house and you walk in and it's everyone from the Dalai Lama to the last five presidents of the United States to presidents of foreign countries to everybody. We were in the car driving together and he teaches a couple tips on networking, one of which is do your homework. Figure out who's going to be there in advance. Figure out who they are, what they do, where they're from, what they're about, and study them. 
And what's fascinating is I went up to go work out with him. He knew I loved to work out. So he said, hey, why don't you come to L.A.? We'll, we'll go do a one-hour workout together. Sure, I'd love that. Got there, got done with the workout. He said, hey, let's grab, you know, a protein shake after. He knew I love protein shakes. I don't know how, but that was awesome. And <laughs> while we're drinking a protein shake, he goes, P.S., I don't know if you happen to play polo, but if you do, do you want to join me for a round this afternoon? And I looked at him, and I'm like, who in the world knows that about me? Because that's very, very, like only a few people know that I, I've played since I was a kid. And he looked at me, and I smiled. And I looked at him like, yeah, I do know how, and I'd love to. And we ended up going and playing polo. And I'm looking at this guy, I'm like, how in the world did he know so much about me? And obviously, he, he listened to some stuff my dad talks about, but he knew personal stuff where he really did his research. He did his homework. He talked to other people who know me. And he got to know enough about me that he knew me before I was there. Here's what's cool. He wrote a whole book on it, and he gives you strategies of how to do that and how to powerfully get the most out of every type of event like this and how to network like a machine. What's fun is, like, we were in the car driving the polo. He picked up his phone. He's like, hold on, i got to call someone real quick. And he picked up the phone, and he's talking to a guy who used to be the CEO of Sony TriStar Pictures on the phone, like it's his best buddy that lives up the street. Like, you got to be kidding me. It was amazing. So networking tip, go buy that book and apply it. Um, back to the story, though. So I flew out to Vegas. Sorry, my phone cut out. But flew out to Vegas, was meeting with this guy. When I arrived, he said, hey, I don't know if you're interested, but I talked to the guys who are coordinating this event tomorrow, and I, I mentioned you and I were having dinner tonight, and they said they'd cover your expenses, you know, give you a per diem check to cover everything, and since you're here, if you don't, you don't mind just saying hello, you know, they'll write you a check for a, a few hundred dollars just to just come say hi in the morning for like five, ten minutes to everybody. So I them like, really? It's like, wow, what a cool experience. You show up, they write you a check for 500 bucks, cover your flights, cover everything. And it certainly wasn't a normal speaker speed at the same time. It was like, what a, what a nice little compliment. Just because the power of networking in that room, he connected me to the people running the event, and they immediately wanted me to be part of it. Very cool. Um, here's what's fun. Tim and I had dinner. We're talking, 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 connecting, connecting, connecting. And what was fascinating to me, though, is starting to differentiate the different types of speakers. Dave and I were talking about the fact that, yes, I, I get booked all over the world to speak nowadays, everywhere from Japan, we're working on India, um, where we're we going, India, Brunei, uh, China, we're trying to get set up right now, we're working, we have Japan two more times this year, Australia just got set up properly, we're working over in Europe as well, and in doing these events all over Canada, the U.S., um, then we have a whole cruise through Central and South America at the end of the year, and in doing all these events, what's fascinating is if you want to get booked overseas, if you want to get connected, it all comes down to building the right team. And it's finding people who are like-minded, who come from the same space, who agree with what you do, who totally have the same values and commitment to excellence or whatever you stand for, and they're willing to go about it in the same mindset, in the same way. And it's building the connections where they'd be able to take you over there just as much as you'd be willing to take them over here. You'd be willing to bring them to the States for an event just as much as they're going to take you to Australia, New Zealand, Japan, China, wherever for an event. And you build a team where now you can start cycling content events around the world, and together you can start to move your events all over the globe. And all of a sudden the world becomes your marketplace if speaking is what you're aiming for. Um, the other piece that's really interesting to me and this just happened, and Dave and I were, were chatting about it and laughing about it, is differentiating yourself as a speaker. And if I was going to give you a chart, you know, a chart with four quadrants, and one quadrant has to do with either an amazing speaker or, you know, if we were going to do like the outside of the chart and outline it, there's an amazing speaker, and then there's just like an average or okay speaker. That's one side of the chart. The other side of the chart says you get paid to speak <laughs> or... You, you, you know, you get up on stage and sell, and you earn your, you earn your living. You show up, and you have to sell it. If you don't sell, you don't make any money. Um, so if we were to fill in the quadrants real quick, the upper left quadrant would be someone who's an amazing speaker who gets paid to speak. In this quadrant, there are speakers who get paid between, you know, a couple thousand dollars to go talk and do a keynote, all the way up to the highest I know was my dad got paid a million dollars to go speak in an event in, in Europe for one hour. So that can be an incredibly amazing way to make a living if you have the content and quality and the ability to stand on stage and deliver something that really gives value to the point that promoters and event people will pay you to be there because your branding and what the value you add really rocks, the, rocks people's worlds. 
Now, if we drop down a quadrant below that, if you're taking notes on this and you have a chart, the quadrant below is an average or okay speaker, someone who's just kind of good, who gets paid to speak. These guys don't usually last very long. <laughs> just because they keep telling everyone they're good, they keep telling everyone they get paid, but then you see the quality they bring, you see what they do, and you see how it goes, and you're like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have paid for that. <laughs> and eventually the word gets around, the Internet makes the world a small place, like we said, People get to know that they don't really add value, they don't really do anything special, and eventually they're out of business. So those guys don't last long. If we move over, now we're still in the bottom level, average okay speaker, but we're now they have to they have to sell basically to make money. And these guys are the guys that drive me insane. And I'm sure Dave you'll agree with this. These are the guys yeah, whose only only goal, only outcome is to hawk their stock. They want to get on your stage. They don't care where you are. They don't care how many people are there. If there's a stage and there's people, they want on it because they're going to sell them. And they'll make you money. They'll make you rich. They'll talk about how, how rich you guys are going to become because they're just going to make you tons of money. And that's all they care about. They don't care if they're product delivered. They don't care if they help people. They don't care if they make a difference. They don't care if people like them. They don't care about anything except for moving products. And their products are really horrible. I hate to say it. And I, and I, I love speakers. I love people. But a lot of times this happens. And, Dave, I know you've seen it. <laughs> So these guys show up and their only care in the world is how much can I sell? How much can I sell? And they don't care about adding value or anything. You let them on your stage, and if you're if you put together your own event, you let these types of guys in, they will kill your reputation because people will no longer even want anything to do with your event based on the fact that their experience is you sat them in front of some guy who verbally, mentally, emotionally, basically abused them to try to get them to buy their stuff. Horrible. Now, skip that quadrant because I hate it. If you move up Quality speaker who also sells. Notice how we said that. Quality speaker who also sells. This is what I believe Dave and Dustin and the legendary event is about. Teaching people how to become a quality speaker who truly, truly, truly delivers unbelievable value and delivers it so well in such a unique way that by the end of your presentation, while walking, you still have to walk through the sales presentation, you still have to sell it, but while going through the presentation, by the time you get to the end, people can't wait to have what it is that you're, you're selling. They can't wait to know how to continue with you. They can't wait to know what other programs you have or what other information they can get from you because you delivered such a unique and amazing presentation, you basically blew their mind. That's what I would aim for to, to start with. Be one of those people that's going to build a reputation being a quality speaker who also sells so that you build and build and build, and eventually you'll become one of those keynotes where everyone will want you on their stage, and they will pay you, they will fly you, they will do whatever it takes to get you there because they know you really, truly deliver. I hope that chart makes sense, and I hope I hope it helps. Yeah, absolutely, Jarek, and I, I think that's the thing. And you know, A lot of speakers' kind of ego gets in the way because I work with a lot of speakers, and sometimes they're uncoachable, and they don't want to listen to other people. They don't want to learn strategies, and they don't want to improve. Um, but, you know, uh, and it's all about improvement. And uh, being a speaker, it's always about learning, building more value and improving. And so the Be Legendary event, we've got some of the top people in the world that are going to be sharing, like you, Jarek, um, at this event to make everybody better, to get up to those upper quadrants of being an amazing coach, an amazing speaker, amazing author. And uh, I want to kind of break down some more. We've got some exciting stuff to really break down, Jarek. And I've got some questions that people have been uh, asking, you know, Jarek, if somebody just getting started in the speaking business or they're just getting started to be an author, you know, if you could break down some maybe steps or some principles that you would have, what would you tell somebody to do if they're just getting ready to get started? If they're just getting ready to get started, it, it, it's fascinating. There's two mindsets of people coming into the field that I see very prevalently. There's people who are coming in because they're already an author, they're already – you know, a coach, they're already something else, and they're just using speaking as a funnel to add more people to their list. For them, getting into this business is a monetary goal, and it's saying, hey, if I can get on stage, I can put together a good sales presentation, I can then funnel people into my other business, that, that's where I make all my money, and that's what I'm here for. So those people, great, they know what they're here for, they don't need my assistance, they got it. The people who come in here where speaking is what they want to do for their living, this is what they want to they want to be able to deliver something of value from stage and get paid for it consistently over and over and over again, and that's the business they're going into. A couple things. 
Um, the first thing I tell them is get another business just like the other people so that you can get paid more money besides just speaking. <laughs> um, but then the next thing I'd say is when you're going to go out and create your programs, you're going to go out and create your events, you're going to go out and create your masterminds, you're going to go out and create your, your products, whatever it is, create things that you would do regardless, regardless if you were getting paid for it, regardless of if people showed up or not, regardless if, I mean, if, create things, put it this way, create things that you would pay to be a part of. I'll give you a quick example of this. I was setting up, I, I, you know, I was going through retreats and events and this and that and goal-setting workshops and everything that I could do for people. And I sat down and I combed through all the different topics and all the different places. And, you know, we were setting up a retreat. We were going to go to Costa Rica and have these house in the hill and do like a mastermind with a handful of people. And I was 50-50 on it. I was like, really? I'm going to get stuck in a house with these people and we're going to be sitting next to each other for 10 days talking every day? And I don't know if you've had the experience yet, but when you become a speaker, you get up on stage, there's the stage effect where it's like all of a sudden you get the deer in the headlight look from everybody because they think you know everything on earth just because you walked on the stage. And they come up to you and they're like, so what do you think I should do with this? And it's like a topic you don't even know and or talk about. (laughs) And you're just like, ah, and it's interesting. So I was like, wow, I really don't want to get stuck in that situation for 10 days in a house with people. And what's funny is for my birthday, this last May, I saw a cruise online that was a 15-day, six-country cruise. And I was like, oh, man, I'd love to go on that. And I paid for myself to go, and five of my friends came with me, and we had the time of our lives. And midway through the cruise, it hit me. I said, oh, my gosh, what if I had an event on board something like this? where we're traveling around the world, we're having fun, we're volunteering, we're doing amazing stuff like zip lining and river rafting, all this crazy stuff, and we're getting paid to be here. And and I looked at my my friend who's my business partner also, and she started laughing, and she's like, that's awesome. She's like, oh, my God, can I come, can I come, can I come? And I was like, that's when you know you got to do something cool. When people who are around you are like, please, 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 can I, can I, can I? When you got that response and you feel that way about it, now you've created something that when you go tell the world about, when you go tell a people on stage, you're going to be so excited about being part of your own freaking event that they're, I mean, it's going to be hard to people keep away from it. So if I was going to give advice, create events, create products, create programs, create coaching programs that you would love to be a part of. You could, like, every day you wake up and be like, oh, my God, I can't wait to go do this because you'd be so excited about what you've created and the experience, not only your client experience of going through it, but your experience of leading it. I see so many people create stuff just because they hear it makes money or they hear it's what they're supposed to do, and they create an event, and then they pull their hair out and their hair goes gray, and they stress themselves out for six months trying to make it go right. Or they create a coaching program, and they hate call number 35 that they have to be on this week. And you see people do this themselves, and my question is why? Create something that you would love to be a part of and that your clients would love to be a part of so you all have fun going through it. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you, Jarek. I actually, when I first started one of my masterminds, the reason I created my mastermind group because I had the concept I wanted to go to actually Costa Rica uh, for two days of mastermind and get paid to do that in zip line and ride four-wheelers. So I decided to put a mastermind group together. And back then, all the speakers back in the day didn't want to let any other speaker know their secrets. It was a very, very scarcity limited mindset. And so I came in with abundant mindset. I'm going to get all the best speakers in the country together. We're going to mastermind. And, and Jarek, I called up all the best speakers that I knew. And I said, I'm putting on this mastermind. Uh, it's free. We're all going to come. We're going to take my yacht out, my limo out. We're going to go to Costa Rica and do all this stuff. And, and guess how many people I got to sign up and that, that showed up? <laughs> Zero. Zero. So what I did is, is I got pissed off, so I got on the phone again. I said, hey, my mastermind's $10,000. I got on the phone, and I called everybody, uh, and um, since they put value on it, perceived value on it, I actually converted, and I actually got over 100 speakers in my mastermind at one time, all the different groups that paid me $10,000 to be there. So you can do the math. It was a nice million-dollar idea where I got to play, have fun, and work with the top speakers in the world. So it's something you guys can all consider. I, I 
like Jarek says, you might as well, if, if life's going to design your life, you might as well design your own life. So, you know, Jarek, you, let, go ahead, Kristen. Oh, I was just going to say, I want to uh, just comment on what you said, Jarek, that I think, and same with you, Dave, is that one of the things is that when we have passion for what we do and what we speak, that that energy goes out to the people that we're connecting with. And that sometimes is that magic it factor that otherwise you wouldn't, you know, you just don't sense that magnetism from someone. I call it vibrational credibility. You know, if you really are um, in alignment and you love what you're doing, you're passionate about it, and like you talked about, Jerk, you do it for free or it's fun or, you know, it expands you and inspires you, people naturally connect to that because they want to know, you know, what what's your secret, what's this thing that's fueling your momentum forward um you are listening all of you out there to the be legendary show and we do have a guest call in number 646-929-2228 again that number is 646-929-2228 and uh you know i I love what both of you shared about passion and you know oftentimes when you're an entrepreneur and you're a speaker and a coach and you're just getting started the passion is the fuel in your gas tank more than anything else yeah, absolutely. And we'd love to invite some people to call in and ask Jarek uh, any questions or myself or Kristen. Um, you know, these these shows are really to help you and give you the insights from the, the experts and the legendary people to really to get the, the true, true tools and strategies to help you. Uh, so we'd love to invite you. Call in and you can talk directly with us. And then, Jarek, I've got a question for you. Uh, I know you're coming to, to speak at the Be Legendary event, and everybody should write this down if you're not already attending – August or October 1st to October 4th in Irvine, California. It's the Be Legendary event. Uh, I can't tell you enough. You've got to be there. It's, this is the event of the year to be there. So, Jarek, I know you're going to be sharing some things, some stuff you've never shared before, some really some insider secrets. So what are some of the things that you're going to be going over at the event? Um, here's what's fun. I've I, Again, when we started the conversation, I've had people, and I was a little vague on my tips of how to create a coaching program, um, but what's, what's interesting is I'll give you my opinion on it and then tell what I'm going to share. I've, I've had a handful of people come to me over the years, like I said, and ask me, how do you create a coaching program? How do I become a coach? How do I do that? And I sat down and I looked at all the manuals and all the courses out there teaching people how to become a core coach. And I, when I saw it, I said, you know, if I was going to create a team of Navy SEAL coaches, like the best of the best of the best coaches on earth, people who were beyond qualified, who were totally legitimate, who were almost masters of the information they shared with the world and the type of people you could go to and be like, that's my coach. And you'd be proud to post it everywhere, like that person I'm working with because they're, they, they deliver, like they got it. They know this stuff. And I said, what would that person have to be? Who would they have to be? How would they show up? You know, what kind of program would they create? What kind of education would they need? And I created an outline for a program, and I'm going to be sharing the the, the inside guts of that program with you guys there at the event of how do you really set yourself completely apart, not just like a little different or have a different message or a different specification, but completely in a different universe from the other coaches out there to the, to the tune of you can show people the curriculum you went through to become a coach on that subject, and there is ob- it'd be equivalent of having like a PhD in a subject. There's no way someone could argue with you and be like, oh, you don't, you don't know that. They'd be like, are you kidding me? I put myself through a Ph.D. program on this topic so that I can come here and teach you how to do what I did in my own life, my own business, my own real estate, my own whatever topic it would be. And it's a way to outline exactly how to do that for anybody where I show you how to pick a topic you're passionate about, how to define the course you're going to put yourself through, how to actually time it out and go through that course, and then by the end, how to create everything you learned into a package that you can then walk other people through and get them the results. Yeah, I'm excited to, to, to really listen to you. And uh, I don't really know if a lot of people realize, how many years have you been around coaching and been a part of coaching in and, and that whole environment? So, you know, there's a lot of people out there that say they claim they're actually, they've got maybe one year experience. Maybe they bought one real estate house. Now that a real estate coach. So how many years have you been involved around this? That's the stuff that drives me insane right now. And here's the thing I know is coming. There's just back in the day, if you if you study psychology, I have my BA in psychology from the University of San Diego. And psychology back in the day, anyone could call themselves a psychologist. 
and it was looked at as like kind of a joke field, and it wasn't going to last. It would fade out. It was a, it was a trend, and doctors were pissed that these quote unquote psychologists were trying to help people without a degree. And all of a sudden, the government came in, put regulations on it, and now it's a standardized degree. You have to go through university to achieve, take the test, be certified, and have consistent accredited hours or, or learning hours every year to stay qualified as a quote-unquote psychologist. I believe within the next 10 years, the same thing is coming for coaching. It's going to be a curriculum. It's going to be a course you have to go through. Um, and with that, the, the piece that most people need to get their heads wrapped around us is how do you do that? So many people these days, you go to one course, you read one book, you, you, you watch one DVD, and you're like, oh my gosh, I just coach people on that. I totally get it. You never applied it in your life. You never got the result. Or maybe you did the result once, and you got one good result, and you're basing everything off of that one result you got one time. Um, what's fun is, I told you this about this, it's not ready for release, I can't talk about it, but What's fun is Dave, a partner and I are creating an app that makes that totally transparent so that when you go to hire a coach now, you'll know how many clients they have, what percentage of their clients are on track or off track with their goals, and how consistent they are with getting their clients' results. So it will be able to show you that on, on, on the computer exactly where every coach is at. It's not ready until like no. November, but when it's ready, we'll have it. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask this. I'm going to just uh, put you on the spot here. I know you've never shown this before. Are you going to sh- break this down and show us at the event? I know you can't show it right now. The app? Um, yes. Legally, I'm not sure if I can. I'll ask permission from, from my partners. Like, we have a legal team we've brought on that have, have made us all stop showing it to anybody. Um, if I can get permission from my partners to show it, I absolutely will, just because he's been working for the last two and a half years and building this out. We showed it to a, a partner, our new partner in Texas, and literally by the time we got done, showing him, just showing it to him, just flopping through the screen, showing him what it is. He, he backed us up for up to a million dollars cash. He's like, no worries, up to a million bucks, I'll pay every penny, you just tell me what it takes. And he said, I also want to be a partner, and I'm telling you, if there was an, and I hear this all the time, I do a lot of training in network marketing, and I hear the phrase, if there was a million dollar company, this is it, all the freaking time, and it annoys me. Really, truly, honestly, without any lo- BS, without any hype, whatsoever, in all honesty, every person we've shown this to, has their response has been, how do I use it? Can I get this for my company? Can I use this for my coaching? And holy smokes, this is going to change the entire industry. Like that has well, been literally the response from every person we've shown it to. Well, I just know you as a person and anything that you come out with is, is from zero to ten, it's always a ten. You know, you you know, you're always a person that really plays full out and, and you love to serve. And I know everything that you do is about helping people and serving. And so uh, I'm excited. I can't wait to, to, to see this thing unfold. And uh, we got a great opportunity to be able to, to meet Jarek at the Be Legendary event. So if you haven't met Jarek, uh, he's a guy. He's a really, really great guy, as you can tell. Uh, a great, very giving guy and also, you know, a guy that's probably one of the most connected people in the speaking business in the world. I mean, he's been around the world and probably almost seen every city and seen every speaking event and, you know, and has a lot of knowledge to be able to share with us. Uh, just even like, you know, how do we get, how do we get a speaking gig outside the United States? You know, and how, you know, what are the hot places to speak at? Is Australia a good place to speak at? Do I go to Singapore? And, you know, how do I just start just from square one? How do I even do my own event right here in America and then create my own coaching program? So it's going to be a you lot know, of fun. And, you know, Dave, these are just some amazing questions that I'm sure Jarek will share with us in Irvine in just a little bit less than a month. But, you know, this hour just flew by. And, Jarek Robbins, thank you so much for sharing with us all of your insight and your, your global travels. And, you know, I, I love your uh, four-quadrant diagram. I think that's extremely helpful for uh, people who want to take their speaking uh, business to the next level. So thank you so much for being on the show with us today and uh, giving us some insight into the, this incredible business that you've created. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure to be on. I'm looking forward to meeting people, hanging out with you all, and sharing with you in Irvine. Absolutely. Well, awesome. Well, we thank you very much. And so I can't, we can't stress it enough. You, you know, we can't help if you don't show up. So take the time, carve out four days, come to California, work on your business, not in your business. All the resources are going to be there. Jarek's going to be there. We've got 
uh, book publishing houses that are coming. We've got uh, people that are doing reality shows coming. If you're looking to be hired as a speaker, there's a lot of people uh, that come. Uh, like a good friend of mine, Ted Miller, he comes to our event and hires a lot of speakers because they're all there. So a great opportunity for you to come, experience, uh, really, and really just grow your speaking author uh, business. So, Absolutely. Uh, Kristen, any, any other things that we have? You know, we're just out of time, Dave. We just had so much great content today. So thank you, everyone, for joining us, and we will see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Blog Talk Radio, where millions of hosts and listeners gather. Month from now, actually a little bit less, and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what people can expect when they come in person to learn from some of these amazing mentors and teachers and experts that you've brought together? Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to be out in California. We haven't been out there in Irvine in about a year, and the special event is the Be Legendary event, and we've got some of the top top speakers in the world and internet marketers coming to this event. So if you've been to our event or heard about our events, you know we bring the who's who's out. We've got people like Russ Whitney that's going to be coming to the event. And Kristen, he did a quarter of a billion dollars a year in the speaking business. Wow. Uh, he owned <laughs> Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Robert Kiyosaki. So he's a personal friend of mine. He's going to be there, uh, and he's, he's coming to serve and to help. Uh, Jarek Robbins, who's going to be on here today, is also going to be at the event. Mike Koenigs, uh, big product launch internet marketer, talk to him. He's going to be coming to the event. Uh, and sharing with us his product launch secrets, which he's never revealed before because he's going to be in the middle of his product launch. And I asked him to, to come by and to, to share with us. We've got about 38 JV brokers and managers that are going to be are attending the event, and you haven't booked your room, you better do that today because the room block's being booked out. And last year when we did it, the room block was booked out. And people had to go back and forth, and uh, you know a lot of the you know a lot of the business they say is done on the golf course. Well, a lot of business in this industry is done at the JV and at these events. So you want to be at the hotel. And absolutely, like you said, we've only got a limited seats left just because of who is coming to this event. And I've asked personal favors from some of our top clients, from my personal friends, to come here uh, to bring it to what really is working um, in. The business right now, so I am. I just can't wait for this event. It's going to be lots of fun. Yeah, and thank you so much for putting it together. I know I'm really excited to be part of it as well. So let's not keep everyone waiting anymore. We have just such an incredible guest today, Jarek Robbins. You know, at 23 years old, he was awarded the Congressional Award for Gold Medal by the United States Congress, and by 25, I mean, this is somebody who's been on the go since he was, like you said, just a young person. He became an international phenomenon by developing a revolutionary approach to accelerating results for business in different industries. Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Yes, hello, hello, and welcome to the show. We have an exciting guest here today, and I'm one of your hosts, Kristen White. And this is Dave Van Hoos, and we're so excited and honored to have you on our show. And the Be Legendary show is all about real-life practical, practical experience, tools, and principles to help you and your business and to be legendary. And I'm excited. And we've got a really special guest today, Kristen. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun because this is a guy that has basically been a speaker probably since the time he was five years old. Uh, he's been traveling the world and philanthropy work um, and just really has a great insight to really help speakers, authors, business owners. Uh, so he's going to bring tremendous value. You know, I think that there is something to be said that when you, this is what's so exciting about this guest, when you are in a space where you are inspired and you're with one of the master teachers, that your greatness is born out of that space as well. So we are in for such an incredible treat with our guest. And this is part of our 
series here on Be Legendary, bringing you the ultimate in legendary speakers, coaches, entrepreneurs, and professionals on the planet. So what an incredible honor it is to have uh, Jarek Robbins with us. He's the world's foremost authority at developing creative solutions for accelerated results with his rapid results formula. And I'm just really excited, Kristen, because... You know, the learning curve and the education experience that Jarek is bringing uh, to the table here to help us really unravel, uh, there's a lot of speakers and Internet marketers that would love to create a coaching program in their, in their back end. There's a lot of business owners that, you know, might, you know, want to learn more about coaching. And so uh, it's going to be a great, great, great uh, conversation with Jarek. And uh, who knows where this call is going to go. So we're going to have lots of fun because uh, Jarek has got lots of experience and you know, I've known Jared for, for some time, and, and just just a person that is brilliant, smart, in integrity, um, and if you haven't met Jared, uh, you're going to have an opportunity on this show, and so it's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. And you know, Dave, before we get started, I'd love to take this chance to let all of our listeners know about uh, your event that's coming up in Irvine, California. It's, it's just about a month. At this event, Penguin Publishing House, one of the biggest publishing houses in the world, uh, is coming, and they're looking to publish speakers. So if you want to become an author, uh, we've got one of the biggest publishing houses to come to look and to give you a book deal where you'd get paid to write your book. In addition to that, uh, reality TV shows, um, people are coming because a lot of these speakers are doing radio, or TV shows, <laughs> and they're coming to look for some new hot talent. So it's going to be really uh, uh a life-changing event for those that take the time to get out of their business and work on their business, not in their business. So I'm excited. You know, the thing that I think is so great about leaving your home and traveling and coming to spend time in three days in an environment that is so rich with opportunities. You know, I know you said this before, Dave, and we've talked about it, that we're really only one introduction or one connection away from making a quantum leap in our business. So who knows who you might meet or who you might connect with in this very exclusive environment. I know it's limited to a small amount, and from what I understand, you're, you're almost sold out. Yeah, we've got uh, almost our room block is, is almost filled up, so if you...